Firstly, I'd like to thank my very good friend, Brian Graupner, who's in The Gothicals, Gasoline Invertebrate, Hardcore Pong, Hardcore Pong, and a million other bands. He's also the label manager at Tiger Squawk Records, which you need to check out because it's brilliant. Brian and I had a big talk about this to just some brainstorm some ideas that might help. So you have to separate yourself from the artist and you have to put on your marketing cap because this isn't about art, this is about marketing. And also remember, the sound that you are producing might not necessarily be the sound that you like. Be open to pushing into somewhere new. Let's talk about defining your sound. First step, we have to identify similar bands. Here's a really fun exercise. Imagine that you are in the house of somebody who has bought your CD and you're looking at the shelf where the CDs are and there's your CD. And what I need you to imagine is what are two CDs on either side. The CDs are arranged by genre, not alphabetically, but there's your CD. What I want you to do is tell me what are the two CDs on either side of it. And this is important. Now, ask somebody else who's familiar with your music and familiar with the genre the same question. This is gonna give you a really strong idea what your similar bands are. You need to define your genre. And I know genre is a really dirty word, but genre is very important. So you remember those four bands that we came up with before by looking at them on the imaginary shelf? I need you to type those four bands into a search engine to find out their genre. Now these genres and subgenres that are gonna come back are gonna be very important hashtags and keywords. This is gonna help you target your market. Now I want you to research those similar bands some more. What countries are they popular in? What is their age, sex, location, demographic? What radio stations and podcasts do they get onto? I know it's hard finding specific demographic information, but there's an article here that might help. It's in the description below. So the objective of all this is to find the audience for your band. What's their age? What's their sex? What's their location? What similar bands? What genres? So to save you a whole bunch of researching, this is what Angel Spitz demographics look like. Industrial music is roughly split 50-50 male-female. Between the ages of 13 and 17, it's about 6%. 18 to 24 is about 20%. 25 to 34 is about 50%. 35 to 44 is about 20%. And 45 and upwards is about 4%. The top countries, the USA, is about two thirds. The United Kingdom is about a tenth. Mexico, Australia, Germany, and Canada, they're all roughly the same, kind of like five-ish, six-ish percent each. Define your look. I know some people don't like to talk about this, but you gotta remember, this is marketing, so the way the box is wrapped is really important. You've gotta visually sell the experience. Also, performing live is very effective at reaching your people. If you are gonna perform live, make sure your live show is amazing, because if your live show doesn't cut it, you might actually end up losing fans. So, do you remember the genre and the subgenres that we came up with before? Type these into Pinterest and see what comes up. These images are also part of the expectation of your audience. Of course, you can just say, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna do whatever I want. I'm gonna go completely out on a limb. It's great to know these expectations. It's great to see what the audience wants to see and is comfortable with seeing. But ultimately, this comes down to you, what you want to do. That's what's important. You might let the visual expectation shift you a little bit and that's totally cool. It's really cool to be open to new ideas. Some of these ideas will cost money. The first thing you need is killer content. Awesome songs, photo shoots, and videos will keep the fish in the net once you've caught them. You know what I mean. Online advertising is a really effective way to reach an audience. Stream your live shows, stream your rehearsals, and maybe even push them with online advertising. The thing about online advertising is they're going to ask you about your demographic, which once you've done your research, you will know. You will know the age, the sex, the location. You will know specifically who to target. You'll know what hashtags to use, what bands it sounds similar to. You will be ready to aim this like a sniper. 
Remixing is also a great way to make connections with other bands and also to reach their audience. Here's an idea. Reach out to a label and offer yourself as a remixer. They might end up adding you to their remixing roster, which means every time a band releases something, they're going to call on you for a remix. This is a great way to build up trades and swaps and a really great way to get your name out there. Try a sticker or postcard drop. Try making a postcard or a sticker with really catchy photos or imagery. Have it include a download code for a track and maybe a discount code for your web store. Make sure it has your URL. So once you have this postcard, give a stack of them to a friend's band who's touring and get them to hand them out all over the country. Get another stack of postcards, send them to a friend that has heaps of online merch and get them to include your postcard with all the merch orders they send out. Try putting out the postcards at club nights. Reach out to the magazines and labels that do compilations. As compilations travel far, as all the bands involved are pushing the compilation. Get on podcasts and playlists. And the best way to find them is do some researching and find them on Facebook. Send them a message and send them an MP3 and there's a high chance they'll play the track. Pre-record a podcast or radio spot. Hey, this is Zoom from Angel Spit, and you're listening to Blah 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 FM. If you make a whole bunch of these specifically for each different podcast or radio, they will play it before each song, so they're encouraged to play your music. Give away a promo track for free on Bandcamp and let the audience pay what they want in case they want to leave a tip. Then, whatever money you make from it, spend it on an advertising campaign. Make the track an edit of one of the best songs on the album. Remember, when someone downloads your track from Bandcamp, Bandcamp will collect their emails for you. Add their emails to an email list so you can stay in contact with them. You need to carefully tailor any ad campaign to specifically hit your demographic. The more you know about your audience, the higher your success hit rate will be. And remember, the most important thing is the quality of your content. Awesome music, photos and videos will ensure people keep coming back. So once you know their age, sex, location, similar bands and their genre, you know your demographic. Now go and bring them your rock.